Mario Martinez is a small business owner on Hilton Head Island who's been a South Carolinian for more than a dozen years now. Uh, his, his website says he's also been an activist and immigrant fighting for the rights of minorities since 2005. Welcome. Uh, thank you both for having me here. Let's talk a little bit about that activism and, and why you are running for uh, the, the district seat. Well, you know, I'm running because I think that South Carolina can do better. Uh, I think there's opportunity for everybody, not just a few people. So uh, I think we need to have somebody that can uh, have a, a strong stand on basic uh, issues, important issues for our district. and. I think we can do it. I mean, we, right. can, we can do better. All right. Take a strong stand. Give me an issue that, uh, that you see a big difference between you and your opponent. Well, um, let's talk about something like the uh, equal pay okay. between uh, men, women, and mm -hmm. everybody. I mean, South Carolina is one of the four states that doesn't have an uh, equal pay act. I think that we need to work on that mm -hmm. because women and men need to get paid equally. Mm -hmm. It doesn't matter gender. Uh, it doesn't matter... Uh, the job, but uh, I mean, we have to be fair. We have to give everybody an opportunity. Mm -hmm. That basically. You're a small business owner, mm -hmm. a small minority business owner. That's correct. That's an that's an issue uh, mm -hmm. right there. How do you get things to go better for minority small business owners in South well, Carolina? What's wrong and what needs to be changed? Well, first of all, we need to empower these people. We need to make sure they understand the responsibility and challenges to be a business owner. But mm -hmm. also, we have to open doors for them to, to be able to grow, to, to, to be able to hire more people and make sure they get paid well. Mm -hmm. So basically, what we're talking here is that South Carolina has a lot of tools for our business owners, but sometimes they're not available for them. What's a roadblock to, to, to making that happen? Well, basically, is that people doesn't pay attention for that. Okay. Uh, they don't have somebody that is actually fighting for them, okay. advocating for them. So we need to make sure we have somebody that understands the dynamics and how, how much we can improve this area. All right. A little more local issue uh, that I will ask your opponent about he here in a little bit. The bridges to Hilton Head from, uh, from the mainland and, and transportation around the low country. Mm -hmm. Where do you come down on uh, on the transportation tax well, and, and the issues there? Uh, I think we need we need to have that, absolutely. We need the money. We need to make sure that our bridges are uh, safe. Mm -hmm. So we need the money for maintenance. And, and, yes, we need to widen that. But we also need to understand the dynamic on why we are having so much people coming in. Mm -hmm. So it has to do with, of, of course, uh, housing, uh, war demand. So we need, it's not just one issue. Can the, state, can the state do anything about that that, that you've been able to see to help the housing situation, uh, the affordable housing on the island? I mean, yes. I, I think we have the resources to okay. work with them. Uh, it's just a matter of fact that we can balance that, mm -hmm. uh, the, the density, and make sure we don't overpopulate the area and make sure we have access to the island. So, th yes, I mean, there, there are ways to do it. There are buildings and land that we can develop in a uh, sustainable way and respecting uh, our uh, beauty of the island. Mario, thank you very much for joining us. It was great to get a chance to meet you. Again, that's Mario Martinez, who is running for uh, the District 123 seat currently held by Jeff Bradley.